All right, guys, so I'm finally starting on this project. I've been promising for, I don't know, probably a year, actually, that I was gonna find myself a nice 9.3 to, uh, to replace the 900, the convertible, actually. <laughs> so uh, it's kind of going back and forth on what I wanted to use, and a uh, smoking deal came up on Marketplace. Cool story, basic, short version is, uh, message the guy, it's a 99, last year a T5, um, message him, asked him a couple questions about it, figured out that I was into sobs, and he sends me a message back, and he's like, hey, uh, I can tell you're an enthusiast, so I'm just gonna take it off Facebook, and take it off the, take the listing down, and, uh, until you can come look at it, so I was like, all right, cool, a little bit weird, but anyways, he does it, so, right, so I get there. And uh, it's a really nice car. I only won 500 bucks for it. So anyways, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show you the old car. So those of you that know me have probably seen this car. Uh, this is a 95, 900 turbo convertible. Um, I bought this car. Uh, so this is the beauty of the Sobs, right? Is you pick them up dirt cheap. So this car I got for 450 bucks because a uh, previous owner had bought it um, from a local dealership and uh, like a Saab specialist and uh, had like 120,000 miles on it, pretty low mileage for the year. And uh, it, it's in good shape. Uh, those of you that know me know that uh, I have a... Uh, uh, I've taken an active stance against polishing it, although the paint is actually pretty good under here. It's uh, pretty well oxidized. Um, the car is solid, no rust. Um, it's a good car. Top works for the most part. It's got the tonneau cover issue where the the flappy thing clicks and doesn't go up, but otherwise it works pretty well. So anyways, uh, I bought this car. It had a seized engine. Previous owner bought it and uh, did a little bit of work to get it roadworthy. Went and got it inspected, and as I understand, on the way home from the inspection, the uh, the engine seized on him. So he uh, got it home and offered it up. So pretty inexpensive, uh, two four hundred bucks, four fifty. I forget what I paid for it. Anyways, it had a seized engine, seized two hundred four. So uh, I'll open the door. You can see the interior. Uh, overall. Uh, nice car. Just uh, typical early, you know, 900 stuff. Like, the door doesn't seal really well. Uh, you know, it's just an old car. So anyways, uh, went through, built a 234. Uh, I didn't actually build it. I bought a 234 that had Wastners in it. Took it apart, put it back together. Uh, and this is the end result. It's a B234R with uh, Wastners. Uh, which is kind of a bummer because they lower the compression ratio. It makes it a little slow off the go. But uh, Trust, uh, SAS, whatever you want to call them. Uh, manifold, HX35, uh, custom 3-inch downpipe, JT, turbo vac, uh, obviously custom intercooler piping using the genuine Saab non-turbo throttle body, 80-pound uh, injectors, usual stuff. Nothing crazy. Sort of like the regular... Um, recipe for fast car. Anyways, uh, it's having issues with head gaskets. So it blew one, uh, lifted the head actually, uh, put a little bit too much boost through it, lifted the head, blew it out. Uh, I have that around here somewhere. Uh, so I put it all back together, put another head gasket on it, and it blew again. Um, I'm thinking it actually has a bad injector because I backed boost out of it, backed the timing out, uh, and it was really only around like high 11s, very low 12s when the uh, uh, air fuel ratio, when the when the gasket popped. So um, I have a question. You know, it, it could be a bad block. We'll we'll take it apart. So that's part of what this will be. So the uh, the gist is going to basically be uh, take this car apart, um, go through the engine, make sure the deck is flat. The head I know is flat. It was a uh, head that Harvey had. He had it all refreshed, rebuilt. Um, ran super smooth, actually, uh, until it popped. Um, so, put it back together. 
and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Uh, may actually do some dyno tuning with it this time because um, you know trying to tune it on the road kind of sucks. So, anyways, that's where we are. Uh, I've got this car. I don't know estimates probably like mid low 400s. I don't know. It's pretty fast. Um, doesn't really have any traction until fourth, uh, third gear. Uh, even third gear is questionable. But anyways, that's not the point. So anyways, here is the replacement. Uh, 99, high output. Arguably the uh, best of the uh, OG 93s. Um, all the comfort options. Uh, sport suspension, if uh, such a thing exists in these. Um, nice color, cayenne red. Uh, same thing, really low miles, 150,000 miles. These all have leather interior. Uh, not super thrilled about the tan. Uh, so hey, if, if anybody has a uh, gray interior they want to get rid of, or black, let me know. Um, but manual, good condition, uh, well-maintained. Guy handed me like a whole book of maintenance records on it. Uh, just about everything works. Uh, it doesn't have AC, well it has the AC compressor, but there's no belt. He said it was making noise and he didn't want to fix it, so the mechanic did the short belt mod. Whatever. I doubt it'll have AC when I'm done. So here's the engine bay. Uh, no rust, hardly any grime. It was pretty dirty when I got it, but I just hit it with the hose. I didn't even really like wipe it down. So plan is, and uh, if you've stuck through this much, uh, the plan really is to take all the go fast stuff from this. So engine, clutch, uh, injectors, blah, 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 the basic stuff, engine bay. Basically take the engine bay out of here, take the engine out, go through it, <clears throat> put it in this one. And then depending on how this goes, uh, swap that back over there so that I'll have a basically stock uh, convertible. So that's the hope anyways. And uh, this would be a fun project. So the nice thing about this is um, it's going to be a fun project because a lot of the suspension, the brake stuff doesn't carry over from this car. Um, it's an early, it's a 95, so they have a different suspension, different spindles and stuff. So um, you take this 100% factory 99.93, going to convert it over to um, a race car, right? So should be a fun, uh, should be a fun adventure, I think. It, it'll be... Uh, It'll be fun to show you. I'm going to try not to get too hung up on the tutorials, right? I don't want to teach you guys how to do much of this stuff, but sort of invite you along for the ride. Uh, as you've seen, probably noticed, my garage is a um, typical uh, townhouse garage, right? It's basic. Uh, here's my old GT Vertigo, right? Uh, my, my old high school bike. Uh, really, really basic garage, basic hand tools, uh, nothing crazy. Uh, although I may pick up some battery, um, may pick up some battery char powered impacts, some Milwaukee's or something. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do with this car is, which I did much differently from the convertible, is convert it to 9.5 aero brakes. So uh, somewhere in this mess, I have the Vigan caliper brackets, and then these are the 308s. Um, and then thanks to uh, Rock Auto. I have the 300 mils for the rear. Um, and then I bought the Genuine Saab stainless lines. So that'll be a big difference. This car has the stock brakes. They suck. Uh, borderline dangerous, especially um, going fast. So, uh, so the other part of this, what I kind of wanted to show was this is not like me showing off, but I know a lot of people are afraid to dive into this. They're afraid because, you know, they might not have a ton of tools, don't have a ton of space. Uh, but my point of this is to show you that it doesn't take a ton to be able to dive into the hobby, build a fast car. Now, there are some things like welding. Uh, this is not my doing. Uh, this is professionally welding, welded, and from here over is professionally welded. This was 
a uh, friend that threw it together for me. But anyways, welding, fabrication, difficult, right? You need 210 or 220, you need a welder. It's, it's not easy to just hop in and start welding. But turning wrenches, pretty easy. I mean, if we're being honest, this is pretty much, this is it. This is what I work with here. Um, I don't have an expansive toolbox. I mean, you'll see around here, if you haven't noticed, there's no giant toolbox. There's no pneumatics. There's not really any electrics. You know, I've got like a drill on a sawzall, right? If you're gonna work on a car, you need a drill, a sawzall, and a cutoff wheel. There's like staples. But uh, for the most part, everything I do is manual. And it's done with like what I can keep in that bag. So um, I guess ultimately my goal here is to show that pretty easy to do this kind of stuff. Don't be intimidated by the amount of work uh, because in the end, it's just removing bolts and putting them back. So, um, you know, power tools make it nice, but uh, it doesn't really take a ton to, to be into the hobby. So um, we'll dive into this, right? And we'll uh, do it together, I guess. So anyways, uh, this is really just my intro, my introduction. Um, have another look, I guess. Uh, one of the other things that I am gonna do again with this car is uh, I'm gonna do the wire tuck a little bit differently. This one's nice, it goes under the manifold, looks a little bit better, um, but there's still like a lot of stuff over there. So um, all the stuff that runs across the header panel here, clean and neaten that up on the 99. So uh, anyways, I, uh, I appreciate it if you happen to make it this far. Um, if you have any questions, if there's anything specifically that you want to see, let me know. Um, stick it out, man. Should be, should be an all right ride. I'll try to make it kind of fun. Um, every once in a while I'll do live things so you guys can pop on. Uh, I'll probably keep doing my Zoom meetings, put the laptop open, and you guys can, uh, give me shit while I work on the car. Tell me I'm doing it wrong. You know, usual stuff. Uh, anyways, uh, thanks at this point. Uh, I appreciate it. Um, I'm a sap wiper, but, uh, I appreciate it. And I appreciate your, uh, you know, the whole like and subscribe stuff. So, uh, thank you. And, uh, here's my other nine five, by the way. Um, great car. If you're looking at nine fives, stay away from the white ones. The, uh, clear coat is, uh, suicidal jumps right off there. So I uh, love the car, hate the paint situation. So again, uh, probably said it like six or eight times now. I appreciate it if you've happened to made it this far. Um, like do the, do the stuff, the stuff that everybody begs you to do. Um, <clears throat> here we go. Uh, again, if you have any questions, anything you'd like to see, if there's any parts that you're thinking about doing, you'll want to let me know. I am going to be doing brakes, suspension. Suspension will probably be last, to be honest. i, I got to get it rolling. Um, you know, it is a condo. <laughs> uh, it is a condo, so I have an HOA to worry about, so I can't have this car, like, up on stands for a long time, and I can't have this car as a shell out front for a long time. So, um... I'm gonna do my best to document everything, but the goal is to have this car with the 234 in it uh, within the next couple weekends, actually. Um, order a head gasket, make sure the deck is flat, um, put some new bearings in it, move her on over, um, and then deal with the transmission situation too. So this one uh, has no second gear. So one of the bummers about making power is uh especially with sobs if they just shred transmissions and gears so uh maybe if i make a million bucks doing youtube videos i'll uh i'll build a transmission for it but uh i don't see any of that happening so uh they're pretty cheap transmissions for these things are like 100 bucks and it's probably only like three or four hours labor so uh again uh i appreciate it next time you see this uh, I will probably have the hood off of it, uh, and I'll be, uh, starting to take it apart. Again, I'm going to do my best not to make these, like, instructional videos, but, you know, I'll, I'll include you guys for the ride. So, with that, again, appreciate it. Um, see you next time.
Thanks. I lost my phone. I legitimately don't know where my phone is. Ah.